Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Neon Kev. Today we're going to talk about DC brushless fans and a little project that I put together. So before I introduce this project that I developed, which is a wide input universal controller for four wire PWM fans, I think it's better to introduce how four wire fans work in the first place and then we can get to how this works and the collection of fans that I'd like to demonstrate for you today. Starting with the basics, a majority of computer fan brushless motors are of the outrunner topology. Outrunner simply means that the rotor, or the rotating part of the motor, contains a permanent magnet, and that the inner part of the motor is the part with the stator, or in this case the windings that are not moving. In order to achieve commutation in a brushless DC motor, the poles of the stator are switched rapidly by an electronic controller. The rotation of the magnetic field in the stator causes the permanent magnets in the rotor to align accordingly, achieving rotational torque. The brain box in most four-wire fans is typically a simple microcontroller or dedicated fan ASIC, responsible for switching the power transistors which turn the motor coils on and off. For a four-wire fan, two wires are DC power and ground. The other two wires are for the tachometer signal and the PWM, or pulse width modulated, control signal. To use the tachometer signal, an external voltage source and current limiting resistor is needed. For every revolution of the fan, the internal fan circuit will generate a number of low pulses by turning a transistor on. The pulses per revolution are counted by an external circuit and are proportional to the fan speed. For most fans, the typical value is two pulses per revolution. To control the fan speed digitally, a PWM signal is applied to the fan's PWM wire. By varying the on time of the PWM signal, speed is increased or decreased accordingly by the fan's internal controller. The typical frequency is 25 kHz for most fans, but some do recommend lower PWM frequencies. This brings us to the project that I have been developing for some time. After building discrete PWM controllers using timers and comparators, I wanted to develop an all-digital design. For the main microcontroller, I decided to go with a simple 8-bit PIC which offers good price performance balance and is easy to implement and program. This fan controller board has seen several iterations to finally arrive where it is now. It features a single rotary encoder with push button interface, making speed and setting adjustments easy. The board operates from a wide input DC to DC converter up to 60 volts, so it is compatible with higher voltage fans. It also has a five digit tachometer readout, solid state switching for fan power, dual footprints for standard four wire fan connections or a larger four pin JST connector for higher power fans and inductive and capacitive filtering across a DC input. For higher power applications, a switched five volt supply is also provided for an auxiliary cooling fan. It is all squeezed into a two layer board with one ounce copper weight, totaling three inches by two inches. The firmware is written in MPLAB IDE and uses microchips XC8 compiler. I am no computer science major, I'm sure my code is far from perfect, but it definitely works. I am using the built-in hardware peripherals of the PIC for PWM generation and counting for the tachometer, allowing for good real-time performance in terms of display updates and speed plus setting adjustments. The PWM frequency is adjustable in 1 kHz increments between 1 and 25 kHz. The pulses per revolution count is also adjustable between 1 to 10 for the tachometer readout. Finally, the direction of the speed control is also reversible. This is for some fans which may need an external, inverting PWM level shifter to run correctly. Now, let's get to the fun part, running some high power fans up to full speed with our controller. This is one of them high power jobs, isn't it? Thank <laughs> you. 